and welcome to Goddess 1207. Thanks so much for watching. I've got 200, more than 200 subscribers. So mwah, 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 thank you, thank you. It's so exciting to have started with zero and knowing no one. And yes, 204 or five is ridiculously low to the real world, but in my little world, it's very exciting. So thank you so much. Okay, let's do some trash and treasure. And I seem to have more treasure than trash right now for the middle of October. So let's do the trash first. Let's see what we have. First is the Sensei Silky Purifying Cleansing Oil. I really love this stuff and you can't buy Sensei anymore in the United States or at least I don't know where you can find it. Maybe it's on the internet somewhere, but this is a beautiful cleansing oil. It's probably like every other cleansing oil out there. I've got a little bit left to go. But I really do like it, and I'm going to be sad when she's all gone. Oh, well. And here's another almost all gone. I love this Tata Harper cleanser. Now, I did a whole thing on Tata Harper before where I said stinky, stinky, and I sent a whole lot of it back, and I did. But I kept the cleanser. It's got these little bitty granules in it. It smells very nice. It's great for the shower because it's in a thing I can drop. You can see the bruises on my toes to know that I actually do, but I really like this stuff. I have repurchased it, but guess what they did? They put it in a glass bottle. Boo-hoo. Anyway, I still do love the product. Tata Harper Regenerating Cleanser. All natural, all cool. Here's another cleansing oil. This is the Tatcha version. I love this stuff too. This I can buy again, and I probably will. It's the One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil, and I like it a lot. It has no fragrance. It feels great. Uh, I find myself squirting it on my hands, putting it on my face, and then getting straight into the shower, um, and it is great. I love Tatcha. But of course, my all-time favorite for everything skincare in the natural department would be our beautiful friend Indy Lee and this is another one of the brightening cleansers I was thinking the other day what is it I like about Indy Lee I love the way the cleanser feels it's gel gel like in a liquid and I had never experienced that before so perhaps being a newbie it just overwhelmed me but I still go back and back and back to it I love the toner the toner has such a fresh natural beautiful scent very light I, I don't know what it does it may not do anything for my skin but it does a whole lot for my brain and you know that's the first place we really should stimulate isn't it so I love that and I have the eye balm I'm just about to hit the bottom of my very first eye balm and I've had it almost a year and it is lovely it's like a balm and it's it's just so smooth and I think did I put it on or not to touch oh yeah I did I did I could feel it there just love indie. You should too. And I got this sample of the, ooh, it's gooky. Ooh, don't you hate gooky? It's Phytolise Serum for hair, and I was about half done. But you pump a little bit in your hand and rub it through your hair, and it'll make it turn instantly gray, just like this. See what wonderful color it made it? Uh, no, actually, I like this a lot. It has no scent, and I, I just pretend that it's doing something wonderful for my hair. And with the gook I have on it, I'll just go ahead and do it. I think it was a sample and something that came from Sephora. By the way, I meant that just need a haircut but can't get in, so I'm a little bit wild and woolly. Speaking of hair, I also picked up this uh, Andalou Naturals Styling Gel in the medium. I really like this stuff, too, and I have repurchased it off the internet because uh, I didn't have it at the Whole Foods when I went back, but it's just a, it's an old-timey goop for your hair, and it is thick, and um, you can see it's not going to run. Oh, well, maybe it is. Oh, it runs more than I thought. Anyway, uh, I guess that means it melts. It melts into your skin, but it's for your hair. Well, anyway, I like this stuff. If you want an all-natural product, I'm, I'm trying to become a more natural in my hair products, uh, because I gotta hold on to this beautiful color. And by the way, I might be teasing, but I do love this color. I, I gave up the the color several years ago. It was just too expensive, and I couldn't figure out what color to make it. I never was a dark, dark hair. In fact, I was born with red hair. My father thought I looked a lot like the milkman. 
But, um, so that's my hair product. And one last thing, I got this sample of their Real Remover from Benefit, and I tried it. It's, it's a uh, eye makeup remover, stripped down, waterproof eye makeup remover. And it was uh, a completely different texture from the oil that I'm used to. It was kind of goopy, slimy, and I didn't really like it. Maybe if I tried it again, I might like it better. But at this point, I don't think so. So those are my trashy girls. Many of those trashy girls I love. And now let's move on to the treasures. I have a few more of the treasures. And frankly, that is the way the world should be. You should only surround yourself with the treasures. Get rid of that riffraff. Get rid of that stuff you don't want. Why? Why are you holding on to that shirt you haven't worn in six years and you can't fit it anymore? And even if you could fit it and it's out of style, and okay, put it back in the back of the closet and save it for another 20 years when they redo that kind of shirt. And when it comes out, it'll be the wrong fabric or the wrong color or the wrong everything and it still won't work. But if you're an independent person, you know, hey, go for it. Okay. All right, let's do treasures. And this first one is another Tata Harper product. Yes, I did just say ugly things about Tata Harper. Not her personally, she was lovely. She actually gave me a facial. She put her hands on my face. Are you impressed? I was. Anyway, this is the resurfacing mask for instant glow. And when I returned all the other stuff, I did keep this and that cleanser. And it is a goopy gel. And yes, it has a definite flavor, but it is a very, very nice mask. I use some kind of brush here. This is a Sedona Lace plastic brush. And just paint it on and sit and watch some exciting television like those realtors in Los Angeles. I love those guys. Those guys are so funny. Uh, or um, something else, put my feet up. And I do like the Tata Harper resurfacing mask. It's one of my favorites at the moment. I have two body products. This one was sent to me by the beautiful Sammy Lady Z. It's from Boots, the Almond Body Butter. And I know it says it is uh, for the body, but I just use it mostly as a hand goop. I keep it here in my hand goop department and open it up and put it on fingertips and hands and it has a nice smell. It's a nice goopy thing. It's by Boots, so I think you can buy that somewhere. I don't know, I haven't tried, but the beautiful Lady Z sent it to me and I really like this product. Another similar product sent to me by the beautiful Angela is, and forgive me, my German is not too good, it's the Apricot Nagel Balsam. Balm de Soin pour la Anglaise. And um, when I first got it, I said, oh, I love this hand cream. And she wrote back, no, 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 you silly idiot. It's for fingers and cuticles. So, well, okay, she didn't call me an idiot, but she was probably thinking it. Anyway, so I keep this by the bed and I absolutely adore it. It's just a little dot on the end of the finger and I rub it in and I'm really liking it. It has the scent of apricots. And of course, all of the directions are in back in three languages, none of them English. So I'm just uh, counting on Angela to guide me how to use it. But I do like that. And Angela, when we meet up in New York, please bring me some more of this stuff. This is good stuff. Yes, we have this idea floating around of having this meetup in New York City in the spring. And we're all very excited about it, but we can't seem to make a date yet. I think this would be a great reality TV show or maybe just a little um, a little um, what do you call it? a documentary about the internet and YouTube and makeup and women of a certain age they're all much younger than me the other five or six or seven if we could talk into this and how we're all anticipating and going and gonna have fun and our shopping together I think it'd be kind of a fun movie I mean they make movies about everything Okay, let's move on to Mark. Mr. Mark Jacobs has these beautiful gel liners and I started out with your basic black and I thought this stuff is pretty cool. It doesn't wash off easily. I try to put it on the inside there, whatever you call that. And then I thought, ooh, let's, let's branch out and be wild. And I tried this coppery color and then just recently I got the blue color. And they have, um, look, apparently they have uh, sharpeners in the end, but you can see I haven't even taken the tape off to sharpen them. I just love them. And so... 
Do you care what color they are? Okay, I'll show you. There's the coppery one. Yeah, I bet you know what black looks like, but just for fun, we'll show you black. And then this blue, which I think is called ink of some kind of ink or something, is the blue. And I just, I'm liking them. I'm liking them. Thank you, Mark. Okay, here is a product that I absolutely adore. It's by Smashbox. It's the Photo Op Under Eye Brightener. And it's gunky. I'm, I'm just be ready. I'm going to open it to show you, but it's gunky. It has this sort of um, little footy thing. Not a footy thing. It's like a little paintbrush thing. And it's a highlighter. And it's so easy to use. You just, <coughs> just paint, 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 paint. And, and pat, 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 or whatever you want to do. Um, it sat in my drawer for a long time, not getting any love. I found it again, and it's just so convenient. I have so many other highlighters, but they're just so much more trouble. Too bad others are not like this. I wonder if when I run out, I could put little Tom Ford in there. I think that would work. Hmm. Recycle! Speaking of Tom, I have, this is the Illuminating Highlighter Pen, and I just adore it. Uh, it was probably the first thing I bought from... Mr. Ford has a lovely scent uh, and you just sort of put it on. I like it because for skin of a certain age, liquids really work very nicely because they're not pulling on your skin and so forth. And so I try to use this and I do love it. I use it every day. And I also just picked up, um, oh, this is the wrong one. No, it's not. This is the new Pussycat. Pussycat just came the other day. It's the holiday collection. And I've used it enough that the TF is starting to come off. But, um, oh, it's kind of ooky, too. Oh, well. But I, I'm loving this. Okay, another lipstick thing. Well, actually, sort of a lipstick. This is the um, Red Apple lipstick, people. This really is a, a neat company. It's uh, vegan. It doesn't have any of those nasty chemicals in it. And this one is my favorite color of all the ones I make. Are you ready? Here it is. Here. <laughs> this stuff is really nice. I was using chapstick my whole life. That's what you did. And then I found out it felt so thick and ooky next to this lovely glide on balm. No scent. Easy to put on, obviously. Um, this, I think, is one of their very best products. Their mascara doesn't thrill me. But their lip balm and their lipsticks are great. And now let's talk about our friend Bobby. Bobby ground people at my closest needless markup. Write me all the time and tell me about Rogelio or Antonio or Mark or Fred who's coming to town to do makeup. And like a fool, I always go. But like, I own everything. I don't need to go and do my makeup anymore. But the last time I was there, I did buy a few things. And this is a really nice shade, Antique Rose Eyeshadow, or actually, well, they're calling it eyeshadow, but of course you could do anything you want to with it. I think it's a very nice color. I don't think it'll swatch. You can't see that. Antique Rose number 3F, I like that. And I also bought Cement which they used on my brows. This is number 29 cement. And I like this color too. It's in the it's in the subtle family. That's my middle name. Linda Subtle. So, and I also adore the um, eyeshadow, cream eyeshadows. This one happens to be Heather number 30. I just love these guys. I build things on top of that. And I do build so much because I just like wear so much makeup. Anyway, then I have almost only two more left. This is the Paracone MD Pink Goop in a Bottle, officially known as No Blush Blush. This stuff I really like. I, I've sort of changed the way I've been using it. I was sort of dotting it on at the top on the cheekbone, and now lately I've just been sort of making a big X on my cheek and sort of moving it around. You may remember, if you're old enough, back way, 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 when Clinique first came out, they made this very stuff like this in a bottle that was a very light wash and you put it on and well you try to when you're 14 you know you do the best you can uh, so I like it because it's like that it's very thin it looks kind of scary 
uh, but really the doe foot itself is that pink color so when you put it on and yeah that that could be a little bit but when you rub it in it will just make a nice flush flush like you know like you're actually healthy and eat good food and lay off the chips and the chocolate my two favorite vitamin C's anyway I'm really liking the Paracone no blush blush I have the Paracone no foundation foundation and I'm not really too thrilled with it but this stuff is pretty good and finally back to my favorite palette I seem to just always reach for this Tarte palette which is funny because I've saved all this stuff on the inside like maybe I might give it away someday and I might need it but I'm never giving this away I love it oddly enough I don't use whoops I don't use all of the products in there as you could see but the ones that I do use I really enjoy and this one this palette is the matte be magnificent and it's a couple of years old now but I adore it okay those are my trash and treasures at the moment but they really were all treasures was there anything I really just don't want anymore I don't think so I think everything that I pulled out I do like and that's the way it should be open the drawer close your eyes reach in whatever you pull out you're gonna love and adore and wear that's the way it be and that is my goal we're working on getting there all right well I hope you enjoyed this little trip to the trash with the trashy girls and I will see you next time. Oh, and thank you so much for subscribing. I'm just thrilled. Doesn't take much to thrill me, does it? <laughs> oh, well. Bye.